<laughs> what the fuck? All right, here we go. I All hit right. the wrong red button here. How's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show, Mastering Self-Confidence. I got my co-host, Robert Benabushki. What's going on? It's been a naughty, but um, yeah. So we are just talking actually about working out and him being my first Zoom call on my podcast about six months ago. And uh, he just went back to the gym. I'm right? back. I'm back. He's a back card. He took six months off. And I remember in the Zoom call, he was telling me all the shit he was going to do. Cycling. Uh, what? Raps. Resistant, Run. resistant bands and working out in gym in in the garage. I set some things up. I had a treadmill, which I have a treadmill, and and biking until like two months ago. The rainy season just washed me out. Yeah. yeah, we both go to the same gym, and I was able to go to my complex gym. And uh, to make a long story short, we went and did. We kind of were supposed to just do a like a warm up for him at the gym, but we did a whole back. Work kind of workout. <laughs> he got his ass kicked, and I loved it. You went right into it. Yeah, went right. Like he went right, right into the bodybuilder, <laughs> like a whole thing. And um, that's and that's where the topic came up about what is it looking good or feeling good and yeah, actually being in, in shape, which I was not. Yeah, but you still look good. It was be, basically about saying, that, "Hey, you know, yeah, I yeah, still you look could, good. You could look good, but you don't feel good." That that was that was the. Yeah. Or sometimes what's tricky is you can look good. You think you feel good. Then you go up a flight of stairs and you're going to pass out. Or if you yeah. go to run a block or two. And you get dizzy. Yeah. You pass out. Yeah. yeah and I, I did a video on that actually today. And honestly, I, you know, I was back and I, and I just followed your lead and I was just doing. Uh, but within what? Hmm. Half hour. I yeah. was exhausted. I was really just depleted. My muscles were depleted. I couldn't continue. Yeah. You know, and that's when I told you, you know, I, 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 I look good, right? Yeah. I think I feel good. Sure. Until I was put to the test. Yeah. And it felt like I ran a 5K marathon. You know, I don't know. It, it was just, you know, I was depleted really fast from, yeah, you know, from my energy. It's car, you know, it's muscle. I mean, it's, there's so many things involved when you go to work out, especially when you're very specific. We were hitting very specific body parts and you jumped into it pretty quickly and you came up with these new techniques of you know new um workouts that just you, very yeah and they were different than anything i've ever done myself the, in the like we've all said let's let's the, try it this way let's tighten it this way let's just get these quick pumps they were difficult but, they, were, they were really even if it, if i were going to the gym yeah you know constantly that that type of workout is a different workout it definitely I really, is i really enjoyed it I, I think i never did it like that before and yeah it was I'm going to do some shit with you today. It's uh, I do leg workouts, but I alternate. So I do one-legged workouts every other workout. So I just specify each leg individually and each calf sometimes individually as well, which is very specific again. And I that's mean, what, for Legs for me, it, it's gotten to the point sometimes where if I work out too hard, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm dizzy, I'm nauseous. It gets to the point I have to just lay out. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't know any better anymore. I don't know if it's because I push myself so hard. Like yeah. yesterday, for the first time after six months, I went in like. Yeah. Was How was your soreness? Um, you know what? I feel my the lower part of my bicep here by my yeah. elbows. That I feel a little bit. And that was all that bar that you were doing. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's that unique. Like yep. that was, I love that piece of equipment because you have to, it's almost like it's dumbbells. Ba it's balanced, dumbbell, but as a bar. Yeah. So you have to use balance and, and pull together. If not, it's going to pull you one way or the other. It was, it was, it was, it was good. I'm always trying. I have to experiment and constantly try new things in the gym because it's, um, or else I'll go nuts. I also like to go to different gyms, but I'm always looking on YouTube myself for different style workouts. And a lot of it's about balance now, especially at my age. And I like to do a lot of things where I can stand, not sit again at my age, because I'm just trying to, uh, I got, have a strong foundation from top to bottom. So um, what I was going to ask you too is, so back to, um, you know, I brought up a video today and I'll bring it up to you too, Robert. I don't, You probably haven't had a chance to see it. It's about the, you know, it's not about the workout, right? 
you only work out, say, for instance, say an hour to two hours a day, mm -hmm. right? That's four to eight percent of your day. What are you doing for the other 22 hours? And I don't think a lot of people think about that when it comes to working out. Same with per week. If the average person works out five days a week, two hours a day, 10 hours, right? What are you doing in the gym for two hours? What do I do? A lot of it's stretching. You saw me. So I go in, it takes me, I stretch, it takes me about five to 10 minutes. I have to stretch everything. Then I ride a bike five to 10 minutes, right? Then I have to go warm up each individual body part. So I'll warm up shoulders. Actually, a, that's a in itself. You saw that. Then I warm up my chest, thighs, tries, and back if I'm doing upper body. Then I start my workout. Because at 51, my joints and tendons from lifting my entire life are yeah. whacked. Yeah, my workouts are, what, 45 minutes, 50 yeah. minutes, I'm out. Once I start going, then I'm. that's about what it is. But then at the end, too, I may stretch some more. I also may go swimming. But d don't you use that as your place? It's my escape. Yeah. Yeah. That's your escape. That So you go in there, you're not in a rush, you... you Take your time, you know, you, you end up uh, swimming, right? You swim at the gym. A few times a week at least, yes. Right. And even if I don't swim when I work out, say, I'll do it on an off day because I love it. And then you take a shower there. For sure. And if I do the sauna, which is gone, that's an extra 15 minutes. Yeah, so you I, see, if, if I would do the sauna, I would come in just to do that and go back. That's home. how I met you. In the, Were you just doing the sauna that day? Yeah, yeah. I would go in, hmm. dressed up to whatever... Um, and that's the only time I would take a shower in, in the gym. Really? Right after the, yeah, right after the sauna. Then I'll jump in the shower and then I'm done. Then go home and then just relax. And I would try to go late, you know, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Yeah. I'm a late ready. I'm ready. all over the place, but yeah. Yeah. But I would do that just to go to, you know, to go back home, get in bed and just call it a night. I loved working out in my youth because there was never a rush to get out. I went to a YMCA starting at about five years old, but I was fortunate it was across the field from my house and it was the biggest one I think in Illinois I'd sneak in different they had all these outdated racquetball rooms that had old equipment in it nobody was ever in there so I could go lift weights and do all this crazy shit they had an Olympic sized pool back then diving boards and because I was so young sometimes they wouldn't allow us no, in there right. but my mom would work out there so I'd go with her so I was never in a rush to get out of a gym it almost was like a playground for me mm. and I almost look at it now as a <laughs> like not much has changed but for so many years when I had kids, I had a rush. You know, either I was dropping them off at school, I went to the gym before I went to work, or I'd work out late at night, and it was, you know, I'd put them to bed, and I only the gym's closing at 9 or 10, I only had an hour. So for a long time, a lot of my workouts were rushed. But then when I started to travel again, I would incorporate where I wouldn't be rushed. i either go very late at night. I even joined a 24-hour fitness for that reason. I'd go at 10, 11, midnight. If I had to work later, i travel or fly in somewhere. Yeah, I, I loved it. I, I tried that a couple of times, and then I was just jittery the rest of the night, and I couldn't go to sleep. Really? Yeah. yeah I got some funny stories. I've pulled into gyms like 24 Fitness after flying, like say it's 9, 10, 11 p.m., pull in, take a quick nap. I'd wake up at 5 in the morning. <laughs> like I would just sleep the whole night. Or I'd get up in the morning and go there. I'd be like, let me just like refresh like you know what i mean like yeah, let me reboot. go back to sleep yeah it's a, like a saturday or sunday i'm like let me just refresh her i don't feel right i'd wake up at noon so i drove there like at nine in the morning though i slept another three hours in the car oh the crazy shit we do i think for me the the the, the reason i'm i'm not in the gym for that long is as well so i'm working out you know i'm usually on my phone you know, headsets and whatnot. And then, mm -hmm. you know, clients call me and text me and I need this, I need that. So now I'm in a rush to get back home to email something or look something up yeah. or I think that, that that has a lot to. Yeah, I think a lot of people go through that. I mean, let's call it for what it is. When when you're at the gym, you're thinking of work. A lot of times I say when you're at work, you're thinking of the gym. Do you ever notice that? Yeah. Right? I tell that yeah, to people all the time. you get to the gym, now you start thinking of, you know. Yeah. Most people all day are thinking, unless they go in the morning, you're like, oh, I got to get to the gym. What am I going to get to the gym? What am I going to do at the gym? I got to the gym, the gym. Then they get to the gym, they're like, oh, my God, I got to get home. I got to get the kids. I got to cook. I gotta I'm like, you're always thinking well, of something else but what you're supposed to be thinking about. That's so funny. Yeah, but it's true. Yeah, it's crazy like that. The gym's... Or just working out in general, I, I don't... The only time I whatever. didn't think of anything about work yeah, was actually when I was playing racquetball. My phone was 
in my bag, right? Mm, yes. No headsets. Right. And I'm only thinking of what's going on. The ball's moving so fast. Yeah. I, I got to figure things out quick. So I had no time to think about work. That's and a, I think that's what kept me yeah. playing mm -hmm. was it was the only thing that would separate me from work. Because that's... It's so that was my escape. Yeah, offense and defense. You're thinking of not only hitting the ball, but not getting hit with a racket uh, or the ball, yeah, right? Yeah. Because it's very intense. Yeah. We used to party for years. We lived in apartment complexes in Orlando, and we'd party till 2, 3 in the morning. Who knows? But we'd play racquetball sometimes after hours, 4, 5, 6 in the morning like lunatics. We'd come out of there. It would be daylight. We all fell in love with racquetball for a long time. I played tennis for so many years. I even went to like Nick Voluntary Tennis Academy. They'd make me play with my left hand if I was righty because I was too advanced. Mm. But Joey, all of us, all, tons of us, Greg, all night playing there. And there was a professional juggler who used to go in there too. But we loved racquetball for years, man. It's it's kind of a, it's a fun game. I like it. It is fun. And when I was in Carlsbad, they had like the number five player guy in the world, I think. He was in... Encinitas, and I think the number one or two girl in the world. So one of the gyms I'd go to, they'd be there playing. Goddamn beasts, man. Yeah. That's San Diego. With the, they're just advanced in everything. So, All right, you lazy piece of shit. You got a hardcore leg workout coming in at you today. Let's do it. Hopefully you can't walk for a week. You'll be calling me <laughs> like, what the fuck? I can't. My wife doesn't want me working out with you. <laughs> that's what I'm, That's going to be hilarious. All right, if you guys get a chance, check out Robert Beninati's uh, podcast, Real Business. Uh, he's got his own gig going on there. He also has his own YouTube channel, just his name. And uh, you can find me all over the joints. What a, we're both on LinkedIn, right? You're LinkedIn, on there too. Instagram, Facebook. Twitter. Nah. It's all bullshit anyways. All right, let's give it uh, an ending here. All right, take care, everyone.